I love fajitas. I remember going to, um, well, several restaurants, and for years that was like the only thing I would order if I went to a, a Mexican or south of the border restaurant was fajitas. I loved it. It came out on that little sizzling platter and rolled it up in tortillas with lots of cheese. So um, we've tried to make a steak fajita, steak-ish fajita. There we go. A steak-like fajita that is good for you. So. We've got our onions, and in a previous class I told, taught you how to caramelize onions. All you do is you slice your onion, put it in a pan that's on medium heat, put a tiny bit of coconut oil in the bottom, and then you just let the onions kind of sit, and they just start to brown. So they'll, they'll go kind of clear and soft, and then they start to brown. And just stir them only as much as you need to so they don't stick or burn. But if you leave them cooking for like 20 minutes, they'll just caramelize. You don't need to add sugar. You don't need to add a lot of oil. Um, the sugars in the onions will just caramelize if you leave them. And we also, with the peppers, when we made the meat, there was some juice left in the bottom of the, of the fajita meat. So we just took that juice and we put it in the pan with the peppers and we just like lightly steamed the peppers with that juice from the meat and then it flavored the peppers and made, them, made it turn out really delicious. For the fajitas, we just have a tortilla or you can do it on a lettuce, either one. We're just going to put down the fajita meat. Now, we did these with little mushrooms because that's all we had access to right now. But if you get the big portobello mushrooms and slice them, you can't even tell that it's not steak because it's like the same shape, same color, same smell. So if you have the big portobello mushrooms, do that and anybody will be fooled. They won't know that they're not eating beef flank. It's pretty, it's pretty, I know, it's pretty amazing. I was amazed myself. So I'm just showing, now, you know, for a family dinner, this would be really easy. It's just a matter of chopping up onions, caramelizing them. So you just leave them in the pan for 20 minutes. They cook themselves. S chop up peppers, steam them. You take the meat. All you do is you slice your mushrooms, and I have a little sauce that you mix up with just spices and some lime. And, uh, and then you serve it on tortillas or lettuce, and it's a vegetarian meal. It's completely filling. I talked to, let's see, what should we put on this? Pico. That's what I want to put on this. Um, I talked to a lot of people that are trying to change their diet, and one of the main concerns is I can't get full eating rabbit food. You know, if I can't eat meat anymore, and if I can't eat animal products, what in the world am I going to eat? And so as you can see here, this is going to be totally filling. You can also put sour cream on it. You can put the cheese sauce on it. It's going to be completely filling. It's full of cruciferous vegetables, mushrooms, and lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. And so it's good for you. It's filling. And I think this is something that you can put on your family's table and nobody's going to complain about because it's so delicious.